my dad. He had me start working out when I was 12. And you start seeing the change in your body, you start getting a little addicted to it. He said, Dad, you gave me a head start. And I want to thank you, because you don't know what you've done. But I always tell my dad, he was training me to be a pro before we even knew it. Fast and fierce, Aaron Donald may be the most relentless player in the league today. But growing up, well, he wasn't always that way. What was Aaron like as a kid? Quiet, reserved, he was chubby, a little lazy. He was short but stumpy, and he ain't have no height to him. He kind of blew up out of nowhere height-wise, but he'll be out there playing football and he'll kick off his shoes and socks and start, and start running around. I'm like, man, this little Flintstone. That's what everybody usually called him, Flintstone. The son of blue-collar workers, Aaron grew up in this gritty suburb in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. His parents held a variety of jobs in order to make ends meet. Without a higher education, you're really gonna find mediocre jobs. No really steady employment after so many years. I was just tired and with it. You would sit in those bump beds and we'd talk like, man, well, how would it feel just to tell mommy and daddy they ain't never got to work or, or worry about nothing again? Before that could happen, Archie needed to teach the boys how to work. In hopes of shaking off some of Aaron's lazy tendencies, Archie and his youngest son formed a bond in their dark, makeshift gym in the family's basement. We went from working out from 8 o'clock to 6 o'clock to sometimes 4.30 in the morning before school. He started wanting it more than I wanted it, and then I knew that I had a little something. But the more that he started taking off in that gym, the better and better he became. I led him to the well, and he just ran with it. Those workouts not only changed Aaron's body, it altered his mindset. He became addicted to working out, a trait that led to the achievement of a lifelong dream fostered years ago on those childhood bunk beds. Rams fans, you can breathe now. The Rams just made Aaron Donald the highest paid defensive player in NFL history. First thing I did when I signed my contract, I called my mom and my dad, you know, let them know that it was finally done. And I said, Dad, what are you doing? I said, I ain't saw nothing. I said, I'm watching TV. He said, well, I got the contract. You can hang your cleats up. You're done. You can sit back and watch me now. I said, Dad, don't worry. I'm going to take care of you and Mom. It's on me now. They did enough. The least I can do is, you know, it, it, it pay it back, you know, letting them live life now. To, to alleviate the pressure of me wondering where's the neck dollar is going to come in at. It's a change of life. You know, I was always a dreamer, man. I had the opportunity to do that and, and, and tell them that and give them that call. You know, it was like more of a dream come true. Aaron still trains in his childhood gym every off season. The life lessons forged in iron and an unshattering bond between a father and a son remained strong. Just seeing everything unfold and everything come full circle from just putting the body at work in and always trying to find ways to get myself better. The reason why I'm how I am today, because of my dad. For my son to tell me, because of what you've put in me is where I am today, that is a really big, big honor. That's not how I see it. I see you where you are today is because of your hard work. It's my son, sure, but that's his body at work.